was a known tongue. So he has to speak in a known tongue for them not to know what is happening. So that the language can remain hidden. Not to understand it has been fulfilled. That's why it is a known language. But for us, we know it is a, a fulfillment of what is prophesied by David. Next verse. Next verse. And straight up, some of them that stood there, when they heard that, say, This man calleth for Elias. Because it is already them in their scripture. Hallelujah. It is already with them in their scripture. But now, because it says, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabakthani, they think it's calling for Elijah. Because it is a known tongue, so they cannot understand. They will understand when they receive the new language. That's why it's a known tongue. It's spoken, it's spoken before the cross, during the cross. Now, finally, Romans 8, 26 and 27. So praying a known tongue is for prayer utterance. Speaking in other tongues or new tongues is for preaching. Romans 8, 26, 27. Romans 26, 8, 26, and 27. Just two verses there. Romans 8, 26, 27. Likewise, the Spirit also help our, help our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself, that word should be himself, itself is because it's an old English.